our day can change. Our challenge leader Derek Hayson dropping some three and a half minutes with a puncher. Yeah, we just drifted wide. Um, intersection not far in, on the stage and popped the tyre off the rim. And we thought, oh, it's 15 k's, I might just drive out on it. But um, uh, down the road, it just flew to bits and got wrapped around the diff and pulled the brake line off. And so we had to stop and change it and unravel it from the diff. But he hasn't wasted any time since then, he's clawing that back. Dave Strong now leading the challenge category, and he'll be wishing that he wasn't heading into the Catlins tomorrow, because that's Derek Ace in country. Yeah, Catlins. Ugh. That's going to be fun. Uh, but it's a challenge, that's why we're here. You've got you to beat the best. He's going for it, that's for sure. I would have been a fair bit behind, I suspect. Brody Anderson dropping out a third place in challenge after a bit of a whoopsie. Uh, we ran a bit wide on a corner. We're not sure if we had a puncher or not going into the corner. Um, we adjusted our brakes a wee bit prior to the stage. We don't know if we had a bit too much on the rear going into the corner, but we just sort of went wide down the bank and through the fence. Charlie Evans inherited third place, but he had a bit of a role getting there. Just a little bit hot over a left-hander and um, ran out of the road basically through a fence and uh, luckily we, I thought it was all over but we bounced through the paddock and basically the car, just the momentum carried it back out through the fence and we landed on the road and it was still moving forward. In the historic field, Vince Bristow had been making his way back up the field into fourth place but he had a bit of a whoopsie too. Took my to eye off the stage for a second and uh, just went off and got stuck. Didn't do any damage, just got stuck. Lost a load of time, so we're yeah, calling back up the leaderboard again. Had some fantastic stages today, really, really good. And we were hard on it, you know. I mean, we're not, we're not catching up with the number one and two, but we're there, we're there about keeping the pressure on gently. And it's just loads of fun, like they always are. And um, yeah, so I'm starting again. His teammate, Jake Scannell, in the 1600 class. He's had a blister of the day and he's now inherited that fourth place from Bristow. My main goal was to win the class, you know, the, um, but now I'm just battling away <laughs> at a different position really. So yeah, no, it's going well. So I've got to keep that in mind really, so I don't want to throw it all away. The big news though in historic, Mirian Evans dropping time and falling back to second place. Four left, takes the six left. Oh, no, it's just a lack of concentration, really, um, because we've probably done uh, seasons worth of rallying in a few days here, so I'm pretty tired, pretty drained, um, not used to it. Just one lapse of concentration, and just, just, just a little bit off in the, in the, in the ditch and just gone a little bit side of the wing, as you can see. It's no problem, mind about it. Ironically, the two people that we saw in trouble this morning at Park Ferme, they have benefited out of that. The man now leading the historic category is Stuart Reid. Keith Callanan having a steady drive all day and maintaining third place. I think we were second in the first stage and we won the second stage, which you sort of, we didn't expect to have that sort of speed. Um, the car is a lot different a car than it has been in any other rally that we've done with the uh, tune that it got after Target New Zealand. But it's, yeah, it's all just falling into our lap at the moment, but it is only half over. The uh, Team Lawton Escort is going really, really well. The guys have done a great job. Marianne hasn't put a foot wrong, and I've yet to crash. But the gap between third and first is only 30 seconds. Well that's it for day four, we're a little over halfway through the rally. Stay tuned tomorrow as we head to the Catlins.